your boy Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And hey, to be honest, now look, I want to say this. Shout out to that comment where it said about how the big three of the nerd coin such like the ones who've been doing this for a long time and such. Shout out to that comment. I forget who it was, but if that person is watching, hope you respond and such to this video. But shout out to you saying the big three were Dan Bull. JT Music and another one called and an M press, but and it basically JT Music, Dan Ball, and the Living Tombstone. And the fact is that the, each of them has been doing this for a long time. But the oldest one is Dan Ball. He's been doing this since 2006, nigga. So Dan Ball, who's been doing this since 2006, JT Music, who's been doing this since 2008. And the Living Tombstones, who's been doing this since 2011. But the fact with Dan Bull, that just shows you Dan Bull is. Dan Bull now is without a shadow of a doubt now that he's a, definitely an OG. No questions needed. He is definitely an OG. And so is JT, buddy. But between the three, Dan Bull has been doing it way, way, way before JT and Living Tombstone. But either way, enough of that and such. That was just a crazy fun fact, so shout out to that person. But we here with JT Music with Bendy the Dark, Bendy and the Dark Revival Rap, Details in the Devil. So we about to check this out. Sorry for the long intro and such. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Take me behind the curtain. At my grand design Any less than picture perfect And it'll be cast aside I'm so impatient For inspiration My pen becomes the sword Because I'll scrap ya If I have to go back to the drawing board Some dreams are simply meant to die What happens if they can't revive This animation is crazy already definitely has and one thing I notice right whenever it's Dan, whether, whether it's JT music or the stupendium especially when it comes to certain ones like this they always have that like old-timey feeling and such especially if they're gonna make it like this and such but I want to say this out of both of them too when it comes to like doing the perf when and I've said this before and I'm gonna say this again when it comes to the performance and such when you always hear like you always see in the credits written and performed by a hey, without a shadow of a doubt like actually perform not just animation or anything like that like actual performance the stupendium gets that every single time but with JT music hey either way he kills it no matter what five, five, five. like that that old time jazzy thing but wasn't like if I'm not mistaken isn't like that jazz that t jazz era from like the 60s or so 60s 50s or so 
comment down below if I'm right or so but either way it does have that old jazz type feeling because especially with the animation and how it looks and such it would definitely be that time without a shot of a doubt I'm an unmade masterpiece I keep artists on the ledges this reboot might get messy that's why I'm sort of sketchy I don't dance obediently the demons knees are far from me Shout out the animator. Who did this animation? Coda. Coda. This animation is crazy. Because the fact that it's making the actual creatures singing and such. And dancing and all that. Fire. That in fact is why you hate me. I'm your vision bastardized. Because mm -hmm. it's basically like this, right? It's one thing... For Cause it's like, cause anyway, animations like this is one thing for you just seeing certain show, like little scenes and such, like especially in the video game era of nerdcore where you see like video game scenes and such, which makes it cool and all. But when you actually give it like creativity, like actually make the creature singing, make the creature actually sing this and all. Like you're actually making the character sing this and all, really making you really dive on into how the character really thinks and such. It really makes it pop out and such. Cannot erase me. That in fact is why you hate me. I'm your physical personality. No, I won't pull you surprise. You guys never survive. Like, what the heck? But it's a show I'm gonna steal. Go call the cast and I'll play the key. What is this? And it's a call to the tail. I've been a brominated, hollow eyes ago. Reanimated, yet unrecognizable. No better way to paint it. This frank cannot contain it. To think of talent wasted out of ink, but now I taste it. Angela coming. One thing I gotta notice that Angela, ever since she arrived on like, I know she's probably done this for a long time, but I'm just saying for me personally, right? Just hear me out. She, Cause I'm pretty sure she's been doing this for a long time, but the fact that when she came to me, right? This is just on my opinion. The fact that when she came on to like fables, songs and such. Like the first time when we heard her when she was on the Griffin rap one she did with him. The hiding the dark one. And now she wears yeah now go. That just goes to show you. Keep on working hard and sooner or later you're gonna be in the bigger nerdcore bigger nerdcore artist's radar. Because the fact that with Fable, JT music and such, crazy. Tasting. You 
saxophones and such. Hey, all I gotta say with that, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, definitely represented that old, like, jazz type feeling. And it's so crazy, you always hear the saying, what's old again is new. And hey, sometimes there is nothing wrong with trying to go back into listening to how old time music was and such. Because then again, because let's face it, a lot of times in music, you always hear people sample some old songs and such into new ones. So, hey, it is what it is. But I gotta say, shout out to the OG of shout out to one of the OGs of Nerdcore JT and such and Dan Bowl and the Living Tombstone cuz I always wanted to know who was like the I was cuz it's always on my mind saying who were like one of the OG OG members of Nerdcore cuz you got the modern Nerdcore artists like the DPS, Schwabity, Fable, Rustage, Divide, The Loop Otaku Underworld and such. You got that, that type of modern nerdcore artist. But I always wanted to know in the in all of nerdcore, right? No matter if they've even if they've done it for one jump, even if they've done it for one nerd topic or so, or all nerd topics. I always want to know who was like the main OGs, like I said, of nerdcore, like the godfathers, you can say, of nerdcore. And then again, there you go. So hey, either way, shout out to JT Music because this the animation on this. Shout out to Coda if I'm saying it right. Shout out to the shout out to the animator because that made the the fact that it gave it a real personality wise fire. Cause cause like I said, especially in the realm of the video game nerdcore, right? It's one thing to just put out video scenes and such, right? And it's always cool. But to actually give it like a voice, actually give the character like charisma, personality wise, and really fit into it, it's fire. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Sorry if y'all hear some music out there and such. And that's crazy that it even happened during this and such. But either way, shout out to everybody who's been watching and such. Make sure to go check out my other reactions right here. Follow me on all my socials up there. And if you want to donate, like want to show a little appreciation and such if I if I entertained you good enough and such there's my cash app and there's my PayPal but like I said it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let go